Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is David and today we are talking about Quant QNT. Now there simply isn't enough QNT to go around. There's 12 million circuit in supply. There is enough to go around. That is the title of today's video. The holders are growing drastically. Not even that long ago, I read a tweet, I think it was around two months ago, maybe two and a half months ago, at 60,000 holders. We are growing 200 holders per day. That's around five. 6,000 per month. Next year, we should probably have around double this amount of holders of QNT, in my opinion. You can imagine the price of QNT going up, how rare QNT is going to be. It is a flex right now. I think even holding one QNT, you are very lucky. You know, if you think about Bitcoin right now, holding one Bitcoin is a flex. At the peak, that is literally people's salaries, and you hold one of those in your hand, not even considering multiple. And I see a lot of people as well comparing their bag size of QNT to people with three digit QNT. You have to realize even holding one QNT is very, very valuable. Stack up at your own pace. Don't be, you know, forced by other people's amounts to invest more money that you actually cannot afford to lose. A lot of information in today's video. Stick around to the end. So without further ado, here we go. Forgot to mention also, you know, the supply and demand of QNT, the tokenomics are the best in game. The utility of the quant token. I don't want to go too much into that because I say it all the time. I don't want to bore my regular viewers. Now, here we have Anderson. Update ISO 1222 timeline. Everything is being delayed or going in forward in 2023. We have your system target to March 2023. Big bang migration. We've got Swift March 2023 beginning of migration. We've got Chaps UK April 2023. We've got Fed now mid 2023 target. And on top of that, we got LAC chain going live with QNT in 2023 building Latin American CBDC. If you're following me on Twitter, you would have seen FNPS Stone Finality payment system also delayed to Q3 2023. Everything is getting postponed and launching and kicking off in 2023. Things are truly kicking off in 2023. We got two months left, 2022. I know what I'm doing with my crypto assets. Also, we got Gilbert Verdian on the design of CBDCs. Now, we talked about CBDCs in yesterday's video. The positive aspect is that CBDCs need a blockchain to exist. So you're seeing central banks cooperate with crypto projects to design and develop CBDCs. In turn means more demand, more adoption, the price of these cryptocurrencies involved, in turn going up. Now, how does Quant relate to all of this? We know that Quant is one of the core systems of processing the transfer of value and information around the globe. So their multi-blockchain expertise are sought by CBDC builders, the builders of CBDCs and quant is being utilized in design of CBDCs. On the article, Gilbert writes, additionally, real-time digital money could provide central banks with an accurate view of monetary risks, enabling them to proactively adjust fiscal controls and help prevent financial crises like 2007 to 2009. We know that the overledger is the obvious solution for central banks because it's any to any, it's not blockchain to blockchain like the other interoperability solutions. Now, what are the negative effects of CBDCs? Well, the first thing is that it's programmable money, so it could be time based. You have to spend your money within a certain time period. Uh, you know, then your money is erased after that certain time period, so it's literally impossible to preserve wealth. So the gap between the rich isn't even a gap anymore, it's literally impossible to become rich. The other one is location. So you can only spend your money within a certain location or you can't spend it in certain locations that are restricted or you can only buy certain products or you can't buy too much of a certain product. Like you're buying too much meat or whatever the product may be. The only thing I can say is the situation is the situation and how you react to the situation dictates your whole reality. Let me give you an example. So let's just say you hate a person. They don't feel that hate at all. The hate that you feel for that person, you only feel it with inside yourself. So how you react to the situation is very, very important. Now you could be sitting here all day being like, CBDCs are coming, CBDCs sit in fear every single day. That's not going to be a very enjoyable you know, existence. So instead of thinking in fear, think logically. What can you do? Well, you're already doing the right steps. You're trying to preserve, create wealth for the future by investing in digital assets like QNT. The only other thing you can do is the same thing you're doing right now is trying to become rich. You usually see with these situations that happened in the past. I don't want to get too in detail, but usually the rich, the top 1%, they always bypass the law. The law is usually bestowed upon the common man. So if you have money, you can usually bypass whatever is actually coming along. Also, here we have Greg Lunt, new QNT listing, Binance, US. So if you're from the US and using Binance, now going off this chart here from who people who watch my channel, US is a top one by 46%. So the majority of you 
will be happy about that. And also, the 24-hour volume for Binance US is $677 million. Just for reference to show how huge of a list this actually is, let me go to markets for QNT and click on Kraken. You know how huge Kraken is. That's pretty much bang on the same 24-hour volume. This is a huge listing for QNT. Also, got another tweet here by Going Broke. Hello, $1.1 million out of QNT in the last 24 hours. New wallet was 6,500 plus QNT is added. I want to refer this back to the actual price of QNT. So many people think the price of QNT going up is just retail investors. Look at the actual peak, around 400 mil in 24 volume. That is not just retail investors. That is more. That's institutional. That's enterprises. Also, we got Patrick here. This is very, very interesting for anyone who's involved in crypto and posting social media. Crypto influencers beware. Commenting on crypto assets and social media without disclosure and profiting from the effects of what that will be considered market manipulation in the EU once MICA is enforced. This is very, very big. It's quite hard to interpret what it actually means because from what I've read, it means that everyone on Twitter promoting cryptocurrency is going to jail. From what I can actually read, I'm guessing that instead of actually saying not financial advice, you have to disclose, I hold this cryptocurrency. So my opinions on it are biased towards this cryptocurrency, like saying it's going to the moon or whatever. Not that you can't promote a cryptocurrency saying, thinking that it's actually going to do well, being bullish online, saying I think this is going to do very, very well. What I think should be banned is crypto influencers receiving payment behind the scenes, promoting an asset, not actually stating they've been paid from that asset and then dumping on their followers. I think that is very wrong. And these people who you know who they are, should get you know uh, prosecuted in the future but just for actually promoting cryptocurrencies online or it's very very big it's quite hard to interpret let me know what you think down below also watch your guru just in binance partners of harbor wallet manufacturer ledger to enable crypto purchases i think this is very cool very cool integration obviously you have to use your card hopefully you might see it with decent possibly also we always talk about the board of directors we talk about guy decently who has involvement uh, with the Rockefellers, we know that Quant is close with the Rockefellers. And here we have some more information on Neil. Look how huge this is. So, you really don't get any bigger than the vice chairman of a Fortune 500 company like Comcast. He ran Netscape, AOL, uh, chartered then Comcast, a veteran of internet scale networks. His strategic insight and experience and the connections he has is immense. This is Guy Gilbert Verdian. He's a heavyweight and can get us meetings with the CEOs of Fortune 100 companies like Google. Amazon, Apple, etc. That's the level we are operating at now. Excited to be working with him and learning from his experience running internet scale networks. To add to what Gilbert said, that Comcast is one of the largest, if not the largest, cable providers in the US, in America. And they own Sky, NBC Universal, DreamWorks, much more huge players that they are playing with. Also, another tweet by Quant Papa video. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Gilbert talking about how quant is not going to cure cancer, but it's going to help and shape the systems that will. I'm pretty confident I've played this video before on the channel on one of the first videos I actually made on QNT, but it is still enjoyable and still relevant nonetheless. And that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, Real David Hepburn. Going to post a TikTok, not a controversial one, but it's definitely going to grab a lot of clicks saying XRP is going to flip Ethereum because I believe that's going to happen after the settlement because of what the settlement is going to enable for XRP. But the majority hate XRP. A lot of people do not like Quant as well. I'd be quite surprised. A lot of people do not like QNT, mainly Link Maxis. But I made this for the video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please leave a like down below, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. We came to the US uh, to, to to actually just explain the, the potential of the technology and what we're, what we're seeing globally. And, you know, I work across three governments, so in, in the Federal Reserve, in the European Commission, and in the UK government. And there's a common trend where people are excited about this technology. They want to do something about it. We describe our work at Quant as laying the foundations with Overledger to build the Internet of Trust. We are honoring the original vision of the Internet by decentralizing it. While the potential for this technology is tremendous, to be clear, it's not a panacea. Um, it's not going to cure cancer by itself, um, but it is a, a critical part of shaping the systems at will.